Welcome to another reading of the Victoria Magazine. I'm excited for this. I think this is my second favorite issue after Christmas would be February, the Valentine's issue. I don't have January of 89, so this is our next issue right here. So let's get started looking at this. So gorgeous, look at that beautiful 1980s puffy sleeve and short haircut. This is going to be so much fun. I hope to get wildly inspired. Again, I've just been creating and, oh, we went thrifting, you guys. I don't know if you saw the thrifting episode, but we saw some good quilts that I got. Are you conditioning the clean out of your hair? Hmm? Are you? Look at the nighty. <laughs> oh, and the little letters. The art of romancing a cold. There certainly is nothing romantic about the common cold, but when winter blusters and a chill frost are soul, it does not mean that the stuffy noses and sore throats that often follow have to dampen our spirits as well. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the yellow and the red. That's stunning. I love the softness of wallpaper. Now, wallpaper is making a huge comeback trend. And there are some patterns that I've been eyeballing. It's a beautiful chocolate. Oh, that's right. It's the, it's the February issue. You'll probably be seeing chocolates and all sorts of yummy things. And the puffiness. That's so, that's so pretty. And the glow. A winter's a reverie. Look at, look at the puffed. Remember that? Do you remember the puffed hair? I 100% styled my hair like that. <gasps> Stop it. Living in lace? Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is so beautiful. And look at this. Such a thing actually exists. Oh my goodness. The lovely architecture. Look at the wallpaper on this. Okay, that that's a bit extra. I mean, I love a good wallpaper, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a bit, a bit matchy matchy. Beautiful soft rosy palette. That is gorgeous. And lovely coloring here. That would inspire me to create something, just the color palette. Beautiful perfume bottles. Now these are highly collectible. I don't collect them myself, but I know others who do. Okay, this, this is lovely. A collage of different filigree, uh, filaments, uh, filigrees, and that's beautiful. So they created this and they created um, a picture frame. Now that would be lovely, you guys, as a picture frame to go antiquing and thrifting and find these little elements and then put them together. That must be what she does, but look at that. This is so pretty. And there's more. I remember walking in the mall and seeing this style when I was probably like 11 or something. And I loved it so much. It must have been in the early, in the late 80s. Yeah, this would be right the same era, 89, probably the same era. So how have you all been? It's been a few days since I've looked at a magazine with you guys. I was hoping to do an issue a day, but I got distracted by adventuring and thrifting, filming lovely, beautiful things. Now today, look at that, that is so nice. Today, as I look out my window, the mountains that rise right outside of my window are covered in mist and fog, and it looks so magical. I want to go film it before the fog pass, 
it's surreal. And lovely soaps. And the little fluffy puff ball. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the simplicity of this. It's so clean and fresh looking. And a lovely bath. Look at how they converted this attic. I'm assuming this is an attic into a bath. Just enough space where you can crawl in the tub. <laughs> that is a really good idea. And that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Isn't that nice? I don't know about being so close to a bath tub. I thought that was a bed. I think that would make a great alcove for a bed. That's a, a marriage certificate. Oh my goodness. Oh, lovely calligraphy. That's what they're doing this on. The lost art of writing, which is even lost now than it was at this era. Meaning 1989 when this was published. Emily Dickinson, an ecstasy in living. Today, let's see, always I have a chair for you in the smallest parlor in the world to wit my heart. That's Oh, that's beautiful. And spring is blooming. There's beautiful floral arrangements, very lovely soft tones. Oh, these are stunning. You know, at the um, at the thrift store that no, the um, flea market that we went to, I was able to get a, a collection of different different items like this. We got a yellow pillowcase with the embroidery like this and some little um, like dish towels and stuff. We went back the next day so I didn't film it, but we did go back there twice. <laughs> this print, this is so 1980s, 1989. I love this, it's a beautiful arrangement. Oh, here we are. We made it. Oh my goodness. This is so fun. Look at that. I can't believe people used to spend the time to make these beautiful homemade Valentines. Oh, that's what she does. This is lovely. She puts together the collage as a mixture, you can see, of watercolor and then the old prints. A studio like that. Oh my. Fruit trees. Oh my, that's such a cute idea. Wow. How do they get them to stay? How do they get them to stay in there? Is it like um picks? And like styrofoam? I wanna go to a tea like this. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. These are so lovely. Look at the lace in the background, those elegant sweeps of tulle and lace. How fun. Oh, that's a neat way. Is it a doily in the shape of a letter? That's really cute. Lots of good ideas. These books are just packed full of creative, creative ideas. Look how frothy this looks. It's beautiful. Here we are to more Valentines. Wow, the 3D ones, those are amazing. Those are amazing. The cute little breads. Wow, look at the daintiness. Your little savory breads, savory treats. I love it when they do collages like this. I just love that. Garnishes, elegant embellishments for winter suits. And there's your little recipes. Does that mean reaching the end? Oh, I was enjoying this so much. More recipes. 
lovely little article. Courage, my love. Poetry, she writes poetry. Oh, so we do have a little bit more. I love the palette of this here. I love that collection of colors. Look at that beautiful and biting bed. It's a lovely little Valentine's breakfast. This must be right near, here we are, to the ads. And there's always a little article in the very back. Let's see what this one says. And oh, it's beautiful. A time for kind hearts. That's such a lovely collage. Oh, how my heart fills with happiness on Valentine's Day and how gratifying for a romantic to see so many hearts a flower. <laughs> All right, and that is it. Thank you for spending time with me looking at the Valentine issue. And I don't think I have March, but we do have April of 89, so we'll be doing April next time. So goodbye for now. Goodbye.